with Rob Ambrose, head coach of the Towson Tigers, heading into your sixth season with the Tigers. None better than the 2013 campaign. Congratulations on making it to the FCS championship game. Relive that run for us a little bit. It's a blur. It really is. It, you know, I got asked all along the way, you know, are you enjoying it? I'm like, no, not enjoying it at all. <laughs> if you took a second to enjoy it, you'd forget about the next opponent. You know, you, you, you beat a good Fordham team at home, which was an exciting time, you know, get your first playoff win in the history of Division One there. Uh, and congratulations, you now get to go play the number two team in the <laughs> country right. at their place in the snow. Hey, you know what? You found a way to beat them. Now you get to go to Spokane and play the number three team in the country at their place in the snow. So uh, it was a blur. It was a great blur. It was it was a great ride. It was, it was validating for the kids. It was exciting for the institution. I was proud to be a part of it. Well, take a moment now to reflect a, a little bit. Your first two seasons, you inherited a team that was struggling, went 3-19. and 19. In the last three seasons since then, two CAA championships and a trip to the championship game, uh, did even you think the turnaround would be this fast, this successful so quickly? I knew, I knew that we would win. I, didn't, I really didn't have any question about that. I knew that the kids that were either in the program or the ones that we were recruiting, along with the administration, were committed to a vision of sacrifice, of effort, of teamwork, of chemistry, and having all those people moving in the right direction. I knew we had no choice but to be successful eventually. Uh, I did, somebody did remind me that I, I said that after five years, there's no reason we're not challenging for a national title. I don't remember saying that, but uh, I like how some random things that I happen to say just come to fruition. I'm gonna try to do that again. That's right. Uh, I wanna to talk to you about one of the, the greatest backs to ever play in the CAA, Terrence West. He is now uh, part of the new big three in Cleveland. LeBron, Johnny Manziel, Terrence West for the Cleveland Browns. Give us an update on how he's doing. He's doing really well. They're, they're proud. His work ethic is what it was in college, it's second to none. It, uh, when, he, when you put a helmet on him or anything football related, He's going to outwork anybody because he has that hunger and desire. The, the, the thing that is exciting for him, I know personally, is that Randall Harris, who played right tackle for us, is actually in Cleveland with him. And so is his tight end, James Oboe. How about so that? there are aspects of his day-to-day -day that are still normal. Though you keep talking about the big three in Cleveland and when did everybody? When did anybody ever think Cleveland would be the place to be? <laughs> That's right. Terrence uh, is lucky uh, to be out there with all those those stars. Now, th the man that will replace him, Darius Victor, 2013 uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year in the CAA. When you were bringing Victor along last year, did you know or did you think there's a chance we might not have Terrence back for his senior campaign? His recruitment was supposed to be hand in hand with Terrence. That, that the goal was that when Terrence graduated, that Darius would have a year to learn and watch and grow and then be that four-year guy. Uh, two things happened along the way that were unexpected. Darius learned the offense so fast and was so good, uh, I didn't have a chance to not redshirt him. And a couple of that with the fact that Sterling Pfeiffer got hurt very, very early in the season. And we didn't have a number, number two tailback. And the other one is that Terrence left ahead of schedule, which puts Darius in a position that, thank God, he did play a little bit last year. So he's got his feet wet. He got a little bit of success. He understands what it takes to be successful in this league. And now he's just ready to go. You guys made a lot of noise offensively, led the conference in points per game a season ago. But let's talk about your defense. Not too shabby. You got three guys on the all CAA list uh, this year. You've got to be proud of that D. They are experienced. And that, I think that's, a, that's something that gets missed. That they've been to war so many times against so many great offenses. Not just in our league, which is the day to day. But, you know, we, we went and face the number one offense, the number two offense, the number three offense. And you know, our guys learned and held their own. So now they're experienced and they're the vets. You know, we're replacing an entire offense. So the defense, especially early in the season, is gonna have to carry the load leadership wise. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on everything and uh, much success this year for 2014. Thank you very much.